Okay, we've stopped at Klein's Nursery. This is Klein's Nursery off of uh, Highway 18, just north of Shelby. I've driven past here a, a lot. I'm just gonna lock my car here. Driven past here many years. Just never stopped it. Looks like a cool little nursery. Old house. We'll have to step inside and take a peep inside in a bit. bit. Pretty cherry trees and stuff. The old brick house over there is probably the home place. I'm just let Nikki look around at the roses and stuff. I'm just gonna kind of take a spin around here, see what the place is about. Lots of little greenhouses. Pretty little trees. One fire patio dwarf peach, 25 bucks. Oh, these magnolias. Magnolias become big and kind of ugly after a while, but pretty when they're small. Look at these little dwarf cherry trees over here, Nikki. I, I like. I actually like these magnolias, even though I know they'll turn into a monster eventually. <laughs> In the south, everybody seems to have a big old magnolia tree. I don't much care for them. Hope this video is not too jerky. I'm just hand holding. I don't even have a handle on my GoPro. Cypresses. Fern spray cypress. I'm looking to see if they have fig trees. We put four figs in our yard last year. They seem to be doing pretty well. Can't wait till they start to uh, to bear. What has been there? It's like the wind's torn one up. They sell the fertilizer. Oh, they do? The best fertilizer she's talking about now. You see anything you like? We'll have to bring a truck and a cherry tree. Okay. They're pretty nice. Yeah, the one you were looking at is pretty It's actually very pretty. Gosh, and look how much the Jackson maples are. We've got like four in the yard. How much is this one? The ones back there were 75. 125. Yeah, ours are huge too. So, They've got nice Japanese maples. Awesome. They're beautiful. Yeah. What is fest Festigata? Do we have something like that? No. We don't it's have interesting that. looking, isn't it? But it's really neat. Fest Festigata? Huh. Some people are going to see this video and say, what in the world? You don't know what. Fatsia? Fatsia? That's interesting looking. I saw that from a distance, thought it might be figs. You have, oh, look at a pretty gray cat. Hey, buddy. You're a big cat, too. Yes, you must be the garden cat. Oh, isn't that interesting? <laughs> it's a GoPro. <laughs> it's actually a beautiful cat. These are false Look at this stuff. Isn't that kind of cool looking? Gashiki Gosh, false it's a holly. holly. You made buddies with a cat. Huh. Mm. <laughs> kind of cool shooting this. We might see something, go back home and look at the video and see something we really would like to put in the, in the garden. Kaleidoscope Abelia. We have this stuff, don't we? Yes, this is all around our whole house. Just look how small this Ever plant is, $19.99. Laura Patalin. Laura Patalin. But our house has this around the whole. Yeah. So $19.99 a plant, our plants are this They're high. They're huge, yeah. And that's just pretty awesome that we've got that. Um, there's that much money. Dwarf Yeto Hawthorne. We've got stuff that looks like this too. Similar. Uh, yes, this is the dwarf one, but ours is uh, Big. bigger. Big. It's bigger yeah. leaves. So. But those hawthorns, we have three of those up front, three or four up front, and then three out back. Those big ball ones, that's yeah. like. Patio. Let's go here and look at this other one. Oh, 
We got ours, ours don't turn. Is this what's in our? We have, we have this. Yeah, I turns yellow. Like you don't like it, do you? Because it grows. Oh, about fell backward. So Yeah, we've got that though. That's that's out in our side yard, or beside the them. yeah. No, three of them. Yellow bells. Those things are pretty for a while, then they go absolutely crazy. Oh, Lady Banks Rose. You like that? I love Lady Banks. It's a climber, and it. What's it called again? It's Lady Banks. I love them. I bought one plant from Lowe's, and it, it just did. Lady it Banks good. Rose. Well, let's get you. We get you one. Twenty-five bucks, and that's a good-sized rose already, isn't it? And see, I could put that on the back porch, and it could wind around the poles. Yeah, it would be pretty. Well, maybe we'll get you one. We'll get the, get the truck to come down, maybe next weekend or something. I like it. <laughs> that one in a car today. You think we fit that in a car? Oh yeah. Back well, we'll think about that. <laughs> we'll think about that. <laughs> if you think it would fit, we'll get it. Knockout roses, we got tons of those. They're pretty. Look at this. So are these all annuals here, right? Yeah, you, this you, is all... you don't buy many annuals just once in a while. There'll be some like the marigolds, they receive themselves. Yeah. And of course this is a hostage. This is perennial here too. All this. Oh, there are some yeah. perennials. Yeah. All the hostas, yeah. No, there's some perennials and annuals. It'll tell you, see? Yep. I guess you're right. Wow, this is really nice. This is better to me than painters. It's this is pretty organized. nice. It's yes. very, very organized. And you don't have nice to, painters. you don't have to fight people to get through it. We grew on a couple. Of Actually, some very pretty baskets and stuff too, aren't okay, they? Okay, I'm getting two of these for my back baskets in okay. the backyard. You want to go get a buggy? Look at this. All right, is there something to put them in? All right, so I'm getting some geraniums. What are these called? Um, it's a type of like a maple, little maple, isn't it? But it's like a, it says garnet, let's see. It's a type of maple. But what it does is it stays small. You, it'll get it like this big. It's beautiful. Beautiful when they get a little bit bigger. We have this. We have that. A, yeah, we do have that. And our hummingbirds love this. And the bees. It's a great bee food. So. I have seen the bees all over it. That kind of strange looking yellow thing. I'm not seeing that citronella. Oh, this is pearl bear. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this place is really nice. Crazy Daisy. Siberian Iris. Is that, what is it's that? A, um, it's a perennial too. It grows absolutely beautiful, but I always forget its name. Is it, does it grow here. outside good? Yeah. It, in it, the green? It, it, it's great in um, um, baskets. Yeah. That, but it just gets really good. Baby, I'll put the GoPro down and help you carry some stuff if you want. Oh, it's dead meta. I mean, that, it, it's beautiful when it, it's just so pretty. Sold a lime tree. Wow, look how much it was. No wonder it's sold. 39 bucks. That's pretty decent. That could price. be in back summer. Wow, it, it could be. We grow limes. <laughs> I would like that. It's a beautiful one. 
Might be. I think you're right. Klein's, I probably is. I think that's interesting looking stuff. Bright ideas line. Super tenuous. Okay. Now I'll get these two. These two. Uh, you want me to go ahead and get those two? Yeah, let me just get them. Yeah, these two here is one you want. Yeah. They're going to pop out, aren't I they? I like the ones that already have. See, they're a little. Yeah. I know yeah. that they'll bloom, so we're all right. Put the GoPro down and carry it. No, we got all it. Right. It is pretty, so it's going to burst out with lots of little buds. That cherry over here, I like these cherries. Oh, is that cherry too? Oh, I'm sorry, it's peach, my bad. Patio dwarf peach. Flowering almond. Yes, you know cherry. He's fishy. You know, cherries are expensive. Kwanzans grow more hardy, but they're not as pretty. Kwanzan will grow real easy around here, but Yoshino's are kind of more delicate. So you want this on the side of the yard where the yeah, fruit trees? Yeah, probably. Maybe right there in the curve of the ivy would be pretty to have one. Yeah, I'm going to cut back through here. What are these trees? These Japanese maples? Yes. And that would be, yeah, over here probably. How much? This is how I know. It's 225. 225, wow. That's how I know the ones in our yard are just... Yeah, we're lucky. We got like four or three yeah, or four, don't we? Four. And they're like really big now. <laughs> they're ten times the size of that. So whoever planted them, we just inherited them. They're quite a nice thing. I like the house over there. Cool old house, isn't it? Yeah, this... Uh, we didn't go over here to this side. Uh, and yeah, maybe we don't we don't go into that one, okay. So I guess we've pretty much seen it. We have a lot of these trees now. Are these some kind of roads? Rose of Sharon over here or something? They look like hibiscus to me. I'm not a big fan of them because they're so they're not hardy. March 22nd, 2014. I'm with John Klein, who owns, I guess, owns Klein's Nursery. That's correct. Mm -hmm. John, I've never stopped here before, but it's quite an impressive little setup here. You're about what? About three or four miles north of Shelby, or we? Three miles north of three... Shelby on Highway 18. Tell me how you got started doing this. Well, I retired from a corporate job seven years ago. Came, moved back to the family farm. It's been in our family since 1857, and started a nursery. Started out uh, trees, shrubs, uh, expanded to uh, uh, annuals, perennials, and a full service nursery. Do you, do you live in the beautiful old house back here behind? Or? I do. Yeah, pretty yeah. nice. Is it just a house? Is it the old family house that dates back to the it old is. days too? Well, my grandfather built it in 1925, and my great grandfather's home is uh, about two miles away. His was built in 1826. 1826. Well, your prices seem to be pretty nice. Your products are really nice. My wife loves it. So, uh, we've walked around to look at it. But if, tell us about all the plants and things that you have, or, or get an overview of it. Well, we grow a lot of our a lot of our annuals and perennials. We grow shrubs, the basic shrubs that anyone would need for landscaping. I have 40 different cultivars of Japanese maples ranging from small all the way up to eight to nine foot Japanese maples. I bring in about eight loads of material from Oregon, the West Coast, every year. So people have unique and unusual uh, varieties to choose from. I also carry the same uh, material that any of the box stores would carry. 
Uh, our prices are very competitive because of the size that we are, being a family-owned operation. And our quality, we, uh, we stand by it. Yeah, we were surprised to find some things we'd never seen before, some plants as we're walking through that I've just never encountered. So good job. We appreciate that. Well, thank you all for coming. John, come thank you. We'll us. come back buy some roses tomorrow. Good deal.